I found this really fascinating that soybean can actually be dated back as far as 7060 BC in northern China. So that's actually when they've discovered that they were harvesting it. So obviously it's been, a, it's been used for uh, many years before that. So soybean actually naturally contains um, an anti-nutritional factor called trypsin inhibitor. And the trypsin inhibitor is the plant's natural defense to prevent it from being eaten. So soybeans actually rely on the dispersal of pods um, to spread their, their seeds. So if you look in the top of the image, you'll see those two little green beans. And that's what they look like when they're on the tree or on the plant. And then when they mature and they're ready to you know, spread their seeds, that's when they harden up and they crack open. They get caught in the wind and they get dispersed um, you know, away from the other plants. So they don't actually rely on animals to eat them at all. So trypsin inhibitor is actually found in many food sources, such as chickpeas, um, I can't remember how to say that, soybeans, mung beans, quinoa, peanuts, and even the common bean. And so the trypsin inhibitor is a compound which blocks the enzyme, trypsin, from cutting up proteins into amino acids. So it's blocking trypsin from those scissors from actually being able to cut things up. So if the trypsin is blocked, it's gonna prevent the protein from being digested. So all those scissors that are going to work, they physically will not be able to chop everything up. It won't be able to be broken down into smaller pieces and it won't be able to be absorbed by the horse. So you've fed all that high quality protein, but it's getting physically blocked and it just, it can't um, do its job it's supposed to. So the way around it is you've got to cook soybean correctly, which will destroy the trypsin inhibitor, making the soybean perfectly safe for your horse to eat. So, Right, that's what you can do is, so these images here, the red one um, is just raw soybean that's been milled. And then the yellow one is our protein pack. So it's our extruded full fat soy. And we did this experiment back in July at our sales meeting because what the, what the red one is showing you is that the trypsin inhibitor is still very active. So we've got this product that we use called SoyCheck. Um, after prides cook a batch of um, full fat extruded soy, they'll take a sample of every batch and they'll check it with this soy check product. So I'm going to give you an example of what actually happens in our little petri dishes. So this one here is the non-cooked soy. Whoop. So we just drop a little bit in there. A little bit more. A bit much. Um, Mitch is going to give that to me. And then we'll go and put this into our full fat soy as well and give it both a little stir. And you'll actually already be able to see the color changing. So this red one, oh, sorry, this red one here, that means because the trypsin inhibitor is still so active, that's what the soy check is telling us. And you can see it keeps changing and changing and changing. And whereas the full fat soy, because it's been cooked, um, and there's no trypsin inhibitor active in this product anymore because it's been cooked out, this is showing it's safe to feed to horses. So like, look at the difference of how that just keeps changing and just glowing like a Christmas tree.